Welcome to In Real Time, where we as Heights Church are inviting you in for real conversations about leading people, organizations, and change in the new normal. We're hoping that our real discussions about our church's journey will help you as you reimagine and rebuild yours. here and welcome to In Real Time, where we're having real conversations about leading people, organization, and change. And we'd love it if you hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification so that you don't miss one episode as it drops. Well, we're continuing in our conversation about leadership longevity. A lot of people are looking for reasons to move on and move to a new place. And we're asking ourselves a different question. What if we stayed? Mm. So uh, we do realize there's some good reasons to move on, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But before we do, I've got two co-hosts. They were with me last time. We're going to continue the conversation this time. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm Associate Pastor Jen Yarbrough. I help out in our administration areas and with our restoration ministries. Also yes. wrangles the monkeys. Yes. Oh, yes. My, yes. my name is Justin. Does. I am the Life Group's pastors <laughs> and one of the monkeys. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely are. It's true. And, uh, good monkeys, yeah, though. yeah, absolutely. So uh, we are talking about longevity, and we do know that there are some good reasons, really, for people to move. Anybody yeah. want to throw well, one or two out? Maybe if God tells you, you should probably Pretty move sure on. Pretty sure that's important. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we that's... should listen. Well, yeah, he's calling you to a new place. That's definitely one. You know, mm -hmm. hey, he's yeah. Yeah, moving you on. The other one is if you don't fit. But this is like... You've got to be sure that you're a square peg going in a round hole like yeah. that. That is not a yeah. fit. It's not trying just, to hammer you in there. It's that. Yeah, thing. or it, and it's not just your excuses or reasons to want to leave. Mm -hmm. it, it it really is a a bad fit. Yeah, because um, yeah. that's it's, it's entirely possible. Yeah, so, yeah, it is, and I have been there in that situation once before, and yeah, it's it's no fun, and it's yeah. So yeah, uh, I get it. So there are good reasons, but we're asking ourselves, what if we stayed? I love it. And long-term longevity happens when we stay places. Yeah. But in order to stay, we're going to have to, well, we're going to have to meet some challenges. We're going to have to break through some myths mm -hmm. that often we believe. I have believed these. I've said these things inside my head. And then when I, when I voice them, <clears throat> I know how ridiculous they sound, but still, I have said these. Uh, let's let's throw out a couple of myths. We went through this list last time. We won't take a long time, but they're worth repeating. What are some myths we have when we look at long-term leaders and we think, oh, well, this must be true, which is why they're long-term. Mm. And we look at them and we say this. What are the myths that we look at? They don't have any problems to solve. None whatsoever. Nothing. Finances are strong. They, they're they you know up and to the right. They got money coming yeah. in all the time. They don't have yeah. to run campaigns. They're well-funded. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. That's definitely one of the myths. That Constantly are. growing. Yes. Yeah. Relationships are always good. Mm -hmm. They don't have any problems. No Never frustrations problem. with yeah. each other. Fresh vision is just flowing. You never have disagreements with the board members ever. or anybody in the church. Never. It's just, you know, everybody's right. hunky dory. No one ever disagrees with us. That's right. Just kumbaya moment yeah. to moment Nonsense. to moment. It's amazing. <laughs> or they make vision. A vision is just so, it just comes so naturally to this person. Yeah. It's super easy. Yeah. It's just who they are. Yeah. Yeah. These are myths, yeah. uh, but we do. Not true. We do, if we're honest, we yeah. tell ourselves these kind of things. We think, well, yeah. that's why they were able to stay long, because that is true. And the reality is it's not. Yeah. What is true is that long-term leaders have learned how to lead through mm -hmm. the opposite of those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's the reality of it. And so what we've been doing at this point, and we're going to pick up where we left off last time, is we've been talking about 10 must-haves mm -hmm. for healthy longevity. Because you can be in a place long-term and it be unhealthy. That's true. I mean, that, yeah. that's true, right? Yeah. But if you're going to be healthy long-term in one place, what, what are some things that we must have? So let's just bullet point, what are the first five? And then we're going to unpack the last four. Well, number one, healthy you, spiritually and emotionally. Like mm -hmm. That's number one. You, must you've got to be healthy yeah period 
Yep. Yep. Then we've got conflict resolution versus remaining in conflict. Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 Just, you yeah. want to work through that. That's a difficult one. Yep. Good. Requires that forgiveness and mercy that we talked <clears throat> about. And then also, uh, you got to solve problems. You got to solve them. They're always going to be there. Yeah. Just leave them there. Part of the job. Out. Yeah. Part of the job. Yeah. <laughs> kind of what our job is. Right. Solving yeah. problems, right? That's what yeah, leaders that's, do. Yeah. 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 yeah it's yeah. true. Good. Good. All right. Yeah. Healthy leaders are going to have to solve problems. It means there's plenty of them. Uh, a couple of more here. Having more ideas than your own and permission given to share them. Yeah. So it's not just needing to be the know it all mm -hmm. and feeling that you are going to fall short. You're inadequate if you don't yeah. have all the answers. Yeah. Yeah. We, we don't have all the answers. That's just the reality of it. Right. And we. And you may be in a place where you're you're thinking to yourself, well, my team doesn't give me any answers. Well, do you give them permission mm. to share those answers? And are you actively asking yeah. for those answers? Mm -hmm. Then you will get some uh, ideas and some thoughts, and it will help get the best ideas out there on the table. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think the last one we talked about was a team you can count on to carry the vision. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a really powerful one. Again, we're not going to unpack yeah. these, but these are ones that we were looking at. So we talked about these in the last episode. If you missed them, you can go back. We unpacked them a little bit more. And we know these are must-haves. You cannot be in a healthy, uh, or I should say, a healthy state long-term unless these things are true for you. Yeah. You're going to need these yeah. to stay long-term. But now I want to pick up on the next four. And I say four because... Well, number 10 is mm -hmm. so monumental, it deserves its own podcast. Mm -hmm. So that'll be the next one. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we're going to just cover the next four on the list. So cool. six through nine, let's talk about those right now. What are they? Well, it's good life-giving relationships. Like you've got mm -hmm. to have good relationships, not just amongst your teammates, Amongst, I mean, one of the things I love about Arts Church is we actually, I am on staff with my friends, not just yeah. co-workers. Mm -hmm. uh, we do life together outside of this place. I have been to Disneyland more times than I can count with people who I work with. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I that one's really definitely um, true because you've got to be trusted. You, you got to have those working relationships that are really healthy. You need the encouragement from one another. And, yeah. and there's just something beautiful about the friendship that it's, you know, yeah. it, it, it doesn't become competition. It becomes a, um, a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When it's yeah. your friends alongside it's good. I like of you, that. One another. Yeah. it's, it's more of a collaboration because so-and-so had this idea. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I'm going to put this over here. Cause I love the way you said that. Yeah. Or I'm going to use this an idea and no one's defensive about it. It's cause there's just this beautiful friendship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I, I just that. think that's life giving. So yeah. Yeah. It's really good. And I'll tell you one thing that I, what I enjoy about this is, is knowing that we truly look for ways as a team to encourage one another. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are, you know, we learned a long time ago that really our currency as leaders in a lot of way, a lot of ways is, is encouragement. Mm -hmm. and, and we can, we can give that out as generously as we choose. Mm -hmm. And we, we want to give it out very generously, not ridiculous, but there's a lot to encourage one another in. Mm -hmm. How often have we had to encourage one another through the last three years? Yeah. You true. know, yeah. it's been a lot. And a lot. And, and it's it's just an everyday thing, honestly, for a lot of times. But if you don't have the relationships, it's really difficult to get that encouragement. And you, and you kind of kind of go the other way, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you don't have those friendships, you kind of wonder if maybe people aren't all that uh, excited about you and your leadership. And so when mm -hmm. you have those friendships, you, you don't have questions. You know, mm -hmm. you know, they're they're a fan and we're fans of each other. When yeah. I was getting ready to launch life group stuff, one of the things that I read is people stick where their friends are. Mm, and as I was thinking about, you know, as one of the goals of, of leading life groups and community is you tell the leaders, like, it's about developing friendships because you will become glue. You'll become yeah. sticky for people to stay. Yeah. And that's one of the things we want is we want people to stay long term. Yeah. And so friendships are the glue that, I, I honestly think help provide that catalyst to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, it's really good. Yeah. I, I think about what comes to my mind right now. I'm thinking about when I was diagnosed with cancer eight mm. years ago. And I remember that we had been already as a team together uh, at that point. 
um, and it, it had been like eight years, seven, eight years. Mm-hmm. And I remember I went through a really difficult year of chemo, mm. but the friendships were there that I knew I could trust this team mm-hmm. to carry the load. And I remember you guys came to me and said, "Help! let us help you. Mm-hmm. I remember the board saying, let us help you. Yeah. And, and, and I knew that they meant it. Yeah. There was no insecurity in it. It was just overwhelming mm-hmm. how powerful that felt. And then every month after that, to know that my friends, my coworkers were true to their word. Mm-hmm. And they did. They just carried it. But I knew, but we trusted each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And it was great. And I loved that. And Life I knew that you guys would make great chance. decisions because I knew you. Mm-hmm. And and you guys knew that I would have your back, even if you made a different yes. decision than what I did, but because I trusted you, and uh, it was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah, I love that. That's really gift. good. And yeah. It was. It was. It went beyond just organization to the right. to the friendship piece. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's good. Uh, you look like you want to say something in there. Did you? Oh, I no? just am thinking about how special our team is, really, yeah. and those kind of friendships do take time. Yeah, and that is one of the benefits of staying. Mm-hmm. You can build these friendships that are real. I mean, we we have real conversations with each other. Well, yeah. and, and it, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. You know what's cool too is it goes beyond, and this is something that I don't know if we've talked about in podcasts. It goes beyond just <clears throat> staff. It goes to our spouses. Yeah. So like our spouses, yeah. my wife has anchors here in friendships that are so incredibly beautiful mm-hmm. um, that I value highly because I know how rich they are for her yeah. and for other pastors, wives as well. And husbands. I mean, I just like, I, I just, I, I value that stuff because yeah. it tells me that we are a healthy place so that they feel included, mm-hmm. not excluded in yeah. this process. I just think that's beautiful. Yeah. So, and what I love too is that not only do we model this and have this on our staff level, but you guys know, I mean, our teams are a blend of uh, paid staff and Mm -hmm. volunteer lay leaders. Some people call the ministry, some people, you know, from a lay perspective, but they're doing incredible work Mm -hmm. for the kingdom of God and we're doing it together. And I love that really, if you were to see us all talking together, you really probably couldn't pick out who the actual pastors are. <laughs> we're just, we're a group of friends. I you mean, might, we might even know go, it, but we don't have to state that. We don't have to pastor. draw lines in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a wonderful thing. Yeah. Those That's friendships right. are key. Yeah. That's yeah. longevity. Cool. It is. Yeah. Can't have it unless you've been there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a huge benefit for us. It it's a must have yeah. for healthy longevity. Otherwise, you're not going to want to be there long term. <laughs> yeah, none of <laughs> well, us these things right make me want to yeah. stay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This totally. is why you stay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's really good. All right, number seven, patience and long suffering in the waiting. Mm. You must have patience yeah. and really? long suffering in the waiting. You know, I put this one on the list because it is not something I like. (laughs) No, we don't. But it has to be said because if we are not recognizing that patience, by the way, it is a, it is a gift of fruit of the Holy Spirit. Yep. It's there because we don't naturally just have it. It's something God supernaturally needs to continue to inspire in me. Right. There is a long suffering in the waiting for the right answers, mm-hmm. the right pieces of the puzzle to come together so I can move forward. And 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 you must have the ability to be patient and just wait. Yeah. Because I, I just think, Jen, we've been together for 14 years here planting this church. And I mean, from those early years, it was you, it was me and Pastor John staring at each mm-hmm. other in the office. And we had huge <laughs> dreams. And honestly... We we believed all this would happen. Yes. But we had no idea how long it would take. Right. Who was, was going to be gonna in the help. room right. with us? How would it ever come about? <laughs> and who was going to pay for all this? Yes. Right? I mean, we knew what we were tithing, but is anybody else going to jump in on this thing? And and so it was just a lot of unknowns, but it was Lots patience in the waiting because yeah. we knew God had given us a vision. Yeah, mm-hmm. just we do. left another place yeah, just do. in order to come and do this That's right? Just because we, he put it inside of us. Yeah. Yeah. Keep doing the next thing in front of us. Yeah. 
Just trust that it's going to come. That's right. Because we believe this was God's plan in this church. So wherever you're at, if that's your belief that mm-hmm. this is God's church and he wants this place to thrive, yeah, then you just endure and you keep building your faith and right. trusting that he's going to work it out. He's paving that's the right. way. If you he's, can't see it. it He's got it, but that's it. Yeah, that's those are the digging deep moments where they you are. really do have to turn to the Holy Spirit and say, "Well, yeah. you got to pour this into me." Yeah, I want to stay, but I don't have it in me to stay. So yeah, you give it to me, right? And yeah, he will. He will. He does, and he has. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has, and I think it's on those days that we just bring. You just well, we we've talked about this in years past. It's like, okay, this is not a fun day. This is a day I get paid for. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. I would that. honestly do this job for free ninety right. percent of the time. Right. Yeah. But ten percent of the time, I need to get paid. Yeah. I this, this, this job, this thing in front of me is just so hard. I'm you, sorry. You, you I'm know, gonna have funny. to ch- cash the check. You <laughs> know, always, that's how it works. We but. always have that conversation. It's a, it's kind of a running joke. I didn't know if you know this or not, but. Uh, We'll turn to one another and go, yeah, I got paid for today. Oh, like yeah. when it's a rough day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I earned today. Like, yeah. I earned yeah. my paycheck today. I earned today. it today, yeah. for sure. So one of the things I loved about, and I want to touch on it with the patience piece, is if you go back to the episode where we talked about capacity, Yeah. if you allow patience and God to work in you with whatever's on your plate and you're mm. faithful, Mm-hmm. That's the place that I actually think that your capacity grows and God Mm -hmm. says, you've been faithful with this. I'm going to give you more. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's something about, we, we brush it past it because we go, gosh, it's so hard to do. It's so frustrating. It's so this, nobody likes to wait. I get it. But it is the place that if we're really faithful in the midst of it, Mm -hmm. it's the place that God stretches and grows and does work in our soul so that we can be ready for what's next. That's right. It's good. I really believe that. That's why it's so essential to be just okay in that winter seasons, for Mm -hmm. lack of a better term. Yeah. Yeah. Because we want to plant the seed, but you don't get to plant the seed in winter. You have to wait till spring. Mm -hmm. You just have to. That's just the way it works. But I think that the question comes down to, for leaders, while I'm waiting, what am I supposed to do today? And the answer is really simple. Yep. You come to work, you do the next thing that's in front of you, yep. the next most important thing that you can find to keep your heart and your mind clean, yeah. mm-hmm. stay close to Jesus, mm-hmm. turn in the best work you can, yep. be responsible, mm-hmm. and you're probably not going to get applauded by a lot of people with anyone, but you know you did what needed to be done today. Mm-hmm. And you do that day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out, mm-hmm. day in, day out, keep doing it. And God has something to build on. Absolutely. Yes. That's what you do. And Absolutely. then spring comes. Right. And then amazing things can now be planted, and then it's going to, boom, come out. So. I, think, I think you just really said it. That is the reason why this is so essential for longevity. Yeah. Is because people who don't wait through the winter mm-hmm. and they bail in the winter, they don't get to see what the harvest is in the fall. Yeah. yeah. They don't get to see the end of summer. They don't get to see the fruit of their work That's and good. their labor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, because those winter seasons may seem like you're not doing anything, but the faithfulness of doing the, the process, people are growing because you're pouring into them. You're making disciples who are then making disciples. And yeah. so mm-hmm. that process, that training that we're doing may seem like it's futile. Yeah. But it really will bear fruit if you're patient. Yeah. You know, and that's right. just the reality of it. And so that's so why good. I think it's so essential on this list. Love that. Mm-hmm. Love that. Okay, and then uh, number eight, we got two more. Oh, yeah. This is you. It's got you written all over it. You need to talk about it. Mm, Fresh vision at the right moments. Yeah. I thrive on fresh vision. That doesn't mean I have it every day. I don't. But you guys know when I need it, I I, I go find it, you know, and find it. Meaning you just have to go take some time, sit with God, Mm -hmm. and there's there's no replacing it. You can't just go read a book and say, oh, I'm going to do that. (laughs) <laughs> Those books have great ideas, but honestly, you read 10 books, you can't do all of it. And they're mm-hmm. taking you in 10 different directions, and they're all really good things. But is it the Jesus path forward for you and your church, yes. your organization? That Only you will know key. that as yes. you sit with Christ. And you're going to take all those ideas from those books for sure, compile them together and say, okay, here's what I, I appreciate that you learned. That's mm-hmm. good. 
I'm going to take that curiosity and all that you learned and I'm going to build on it. And, and now you have some skill sets I can use. Yeah. But I, I think you've got to continue to infuse fresh vision in this. It's a must have. It keeps us fresh, seeing things through fresh eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it allows us to see people with fresh eyes because that's one of the things about long term is that you get used to people. And you think, oh. well, that person, they've said no, 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 no for years. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to ask them again. Yeah. Because they might say <clears throat> yes now. Because mm -hmm. now be, it's year six. And they're in a different place, different season, That's different right. cycle of life, different That's growth. Right. And now they're ready to step into That's that. That's right. But I won't I won't ask again unless I got fresh vision. Yeah. That there's there's something new that God yeah. wants to do. I yeah. That. So we need that fresh vision. Got to have it. Got to have it. Can I clarify something on this? Sure. Because that doesn't mean fresh vision is changing everything. Oh, that's a great point. You know what I mean? Because right. sometimes no. people hear vision and they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Pump the brakes, dude. Like, you what, you want me to change everything all the time? That's not what we're talking about when we're talking no. about vision. Vision for loving people, you yeah. know, loving God and loving people. Like that's the call, right? That's right. the mission. And so how do we keep that fresh and in front of us at mm -hmm. all times? Yeah. yeah. That's how that's really good. That's I really what that. it boils down to. <clears throat> Not let's blow our systems up and start over. Right. Every single like because sometimes people hear fresh vision and if they're wired that mm -hmm. way, they'll believe that. And that is not what we're talking about. No, in fact, that's a great point. I'm glad you brought it up. I hadn't thought of it that way. Because for me, fresh vision even comes, like we just started a new series, uh, what is it? It's a study of Luke, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus and the Gospel of Luke, the stories that remain is what we call it. That came about because I was, as I was seeking the Lord about, okay, what are, where are we going to go for the next study? Mm -hmm. I, I felt a fresh vision mm. come for the words and the teachings of Jesus for our church, because I could I could begin seeing how our church needed to hear Jesus in his own words. I love that. Mm -hmm. They needed to hear what Theophilus mm -hmm. heard, mm -hmm. right? From Luke as he wrote yeah. this. There was there was a there was an angle that that Luke was written from that I knew our people needed to hear. Mm -hmm. And that came about because of a fresh vision. I could see something that God saw for our people. Mm -hmm. Now that, to me, gets me really excited. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, as I lean into that teaching, it's not just, yeah, the next thing. It's like, mm -hmm. no, I'm excited about every week because mm -hmm. it's vision for me. That's fresh for me. So that's a great point. We're not changing core values no. and vision statements and all that. <laughs> right, yeah. No, that, that's rare that we're going to touch those things. Yeah, it doesn't mean yeah. like even even as a, a staff member in my role, okay, what does fresh vision look like for me? It's okay, who's next? Mm -hmm. Who can I recruit? Who can I grow? Who that's can good. I lean yeah. into? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How can I help them see the purpose and the beauty mm -hmm. of what Life Groups does? That's good, yeah. So I, I, I just think that, that that just needed a little bit of clarity only because – it's one of those things people hear and they go, whoa, yeah. there's a knee-jerk reaction to it, or oh, can yeah. be if we're not clear with it. Okay, so I've got a question here for Jen, because Jen is uh, over our restoration ministries, and uh, do you feel that you need, <laughs> this is a dull question, I know, it's a dull answer, but <laughs> here do you need fresh vision when it comes to working with people in restorative ministries? Because obviously, most of the time when they show up, and oh. they haven't gone through anything yet, and you meet them for the first time, it's not as though they're in a completely healthy state, right? Yeah. I mean, sometimes maybe, but often mm -hmm. not. So how does Fresh Vision play a role in that? I am 100% dependent on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will sit across from somebody thinking, okay, this is their story. I don't have anything really to help them. Mm -hmm. It's Jesus who mm -hmm. does. Amen. So I'm listening, saying, you got to help me. What do you want to say to this person? Mm -hmm. What do they need to see? Um, I'll say that up front for them and for yeah. me. I will say the Holy Spirit's the best mm -hmm. therapist ever. Yeah. So in that moment, it's relying on the revelation from him, even if we yeah. stop and listen for a couple of minutes and pray, or if it's just navigating the conversation and mm -hmm. all of a sudden you just know you're being downloaded yeah. directly from the Lord. And yeah, it's like, it's good. Okay, here we go. Fresh vision for this person who right. is 
just so desperately needing to hear this exact mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. And for people who don't know us very well, that is always going to be guided by Scripture. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. When you're talking about fresh vision sure. from the Holy Spirit, how He would speak to you, He's yes. bringing Scripture to mind, passages, yeah. illustrations, yeah. Well, and He's saying truth. this... Right. Yeah, this is this is this this scripture right here comes to bear on your life. Yeah, whatever yeah. it is, it's gonna That's be good. you know held up by the so truth good. of scripture. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But that we have to have fresh vision to see that. Yeah. So, well, that's God's so a good. personal God, right? right? We were just talking about this earlier somewhere where mm-hmm. he speaks to us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He does. He, he does. And he's going to do that personally sometimes. He sure and, does. And we should expect that. Right. He's a God who is capable of that. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> So the last thing we have on the list, it was this number nine. This is not actually number 10 because that's for the next episode. Okay. But last one is what? Clarity. 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 We love it. Clarity. Yeah. Clarity. We're yeah. going to get t-shirts that say clarity. We should. <laughs> Seriously. Definitely just, t-shirts. At all things, yeah. I mean, about true. all things all the time. Like it, <laughs> if we're not clear, man, we need to get clear. Yeah. yeah. Lack of clarity creates white water and confusion and frustration yeah. and mm-hmm. ruffled feathers and and misunderstandings and yeah. so yeah. it's just clarity is man it's, it's so valuable it really is yeah, yeah. i mean I, I don't know how many times a day i hear this phrase hey just for clarity yeah. are you saying dot yeah. dot dot yeah yeah like i i think i've asked that question at least oh. once today yeah just hey just for clarity do you need this from me or do you need this you know mm-hmm. i mean we mm-hmm. We do it. We do it in staff meetings. Mm-hmm. What are you not clear on? Like, it's literally one yeah. of the questions that gets asked at our staff meetings. Yeah, every and, week. And sometimes people have them. Sometimes people don't. Right. I feel pretty clear. And honestly, sometimes it's like I don't even know if I'm not clear on that. I, I think I am. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah. This is what I know. Yeah. Yeah, you're clear. Okay, great. That's right. If there's going to be leadership longevity, a healthy longevity, you need clarity. You need clarity for every day you're going into the office, yeah, every time everything. you're in front of a person, yeah. every time you're teaching, anytime you are looking for that clarity. Um, and people need that from you as well. Yeah. Right. And that clarity over time is what uh, helps. It's not the only thing, but it's what helps gain people's trust Mm, because yeah. they know that you are clear about what you're doing, what you're doing, what you're doing, what you're doing. And mm. what I love is that I've been here long enough now that um, what I'm noticing is hearing people in our congregation and they're, they're, they're talking about the things we've been talking about for mm-hmm. years, and they use the exact same words and they're talking about our mission, and they're talking about our vision, and they're talking about transformation, and they're mm-hmm. talking about what the work of God is doing in other people's lives, and mm. and they're 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 bringing they're bringing the clarity we've given to them to other people. That's cool. It's yeah. it's amazing, mm-hmm. and, and so I, I know that that is a, it's a huge part of who we are. Yeah, it helps keep us clear yeah. about what we do and what we don't do. Right, because we don't sell clothes no right. we don't we're not in that business we don't sell cars no. <laughs> we we are a church yeah. and we're on mission and we need to be clear mm-hmm. about that mm-hmm. who we serve how we serve and uh what we are serving i'd even throw this out there if you because we did a podcast on our game plan didn't we yeah we you, did yeah so if you're Multiple wondering what we're podcasts. talking about yes we did a whole series on what we call our game plan which is literally how, one of the main reasons how we stay clear yeah as a team yeah. and how we lead our people and so if you're you're thinking well, what do they mean by that and how does that really work Go back and find those episodes yeah. on, on in real time because we really break this down. Yeah, and it's something sure. that we all live by. I mean, I I immediately Good. go to the game plan. Okay, this is why we can or can't do this because it mm-hmm. either keeps us on mission yeah. or no, this will distract from mission. That's right. And your answers won't be our answers necessarily, but the questions that we ask ourselves are the right questions. And yes, it would be the right question for you to ask yourself also. Yep. Okay. So today we have been talking about must haves when it comes to healthy longevity. We talked about good life-giving relationships, patient and long-suffering in the waiting fresh vision at the right moments, and clarity. And next time, we're going to talk about number 10, which brings its own singular podcast, because it's that 
import it. And so uh, I'm not actually going to say what it is. We're going to deal with that next time. Whoa. We're going to oh, bait Hanger. people in. Yeah, no, it's, it's cold, seriously dude. amazing. That's cold. Seriously amazing. So thank you, too, for joining me in a real conversation about leading people, organization, and change. If you like this podcast, please hit like and the subscribe button and the bell notification so you won't miss one episode. Uh, well, we look forward to seeing you next time in real time. <laughs>